So I just got some phone call from some phone number and it said, yo, your social security number is going to get terminated and suspended. So call us back to find out why. And I don't want that to happen. Who wants their social security number to get suspended? How else am I going to buy groceries? So yeah, uh, let's call back. Let's let's call back. All right, I'll call the number. We're going to see what's going to happen. Thank you for calling social security administration. How can I help you? Yeah, uh, I just got a phone call from you guys, and it said you guys were going to suspend my social security number. Along with that phone call, did you receive any mail or any message? Uh, it was like some robot, robot voice saying, yo, you were going to suspend your social security number and call back and tell us what, so we can figure out why. Alright, so when do you, you, know, when do you receive that call? Uh, I got it like 10 minutes ago, really. I, I, I spent the last 10 minutes just freaking out because I don't know what to do. Alright, just give me a minute. Can you help me out with your first or your last name so that I can pull out information from my database and help you further? Okay. My first name is Beatrice and my last name is Buttkiss. Pardon? My first name is Beatrice, B E A T R I Z, and my last name is Buttkiss. Like the football player? Alright, then how do you live with Kenny Vincent? Say it again? Mr. Kenny P. Vincent, how are you related with him? Kenny B. Vincent? Yeah, Kenny P. Vincent. Um, I think that's a neighbor of mine, actually. Uh, lives across the street, has a... Has some nice kids that play basketball outside. You know, they're talented. I yeah, think they're going to go to NBA. Street, Say it again? I was trying. I was trying to reach him. Oh. Well, uh, looks like you reached me instead. But, uh, uh, would you like me to uh, get him? I think I see him outside talking to his neighbors. So we we'll wish him. Thank you for your cooperation. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Thank wait. How about you tell me the social security number, kids? So you know, so you guys don't go bug him. I can, I can go bug him for you guys, so you don't bug him. Cause I think he's talking to some neighbors. Let me tell him that you guys are going to suspend his social security number so I can break the news to him lightly because I don't think he wants some robot voice telling him that some people are going to just take away his social security number. It's not robot, sir. We have informed local share department also, right? Yeah. Thank I, you for your cooperation. But I, have a great day. but I thought you're not allowed to do that over the phone. I thought you have to, like, walk up to the door and knock on the door and say, yo, we're going to take you to jail. Well, what's your job? <laughs> Homeboy hung up. Um, I know I know people do it better online, but I think we can try again. Let's see what happens when we call back. Because I think this is going to be really funny. Thank you for calling Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Hey, I just got off the phone with you, and you wanted to get uh, Kenny B. Baker's Social Security number suspended, right? I just got off the phone with you, and you're gonna go get Kenny Baker's social security number suspended. My neighbor? Huh? You, you got off the phone with me, and you said you reached the wrong number. Because you wanted to go get Kenny B. Baker's social security number suspended. My neighbor. Do you remember talking you know to me, sir? You know you're wasting all my time. I'm, you waste, that? I'm wasting your time? Yeah, you are doing it. No, cause I'm 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 concerned for my neighbor. He his social security number is gonna get suspended, and I I want to break the news to him lightly instead of you guys just calling him with some robot number saying to call him back. See all your number I'm going to block each and every number if you call a single time again. But sir, you, I'm 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 looking out for my neighbor. You guys are just gonna suspend his social security number for no reason. That is a good man with a happy family. He provides food for them. He works 
at his local grocery store. He owns that local grocery store, okay? You just can't suspend his social security number like that. There is someone named Christian Lambert. Christian Lambert? Yeah. Um, Lambert. Brenda Lewis. That's like uh, my... Vincent. That's my second or third James best Corbin. friend. Jacqueline Morgansky. Jackson Morgansky? No, Jacqueline. Jacqueline Morgansky? Oh sure, I know them. Uh, his father, her, 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 yeah. her father's like one of my fourteen best friends. We go play poker every other night, but you know we have to stay you six feet to, apart because of social distancing. They suspected you for this drug trafficking money laundering thing, okay? I'm what? Yes. What am I doing? <laughs> he hung up again. Okay. I think we can call back one more time and we'll see what happens this time. I think this is going to be the one that's going to break him. I don't know. Because when these YouTubers do it online and they like really mess with them, they do with funny voices or they see exactly what they're doing because they do it on laptops and stuff. But I think this is going to be really funny. Let's see what happens. One more time. Mr. Winston? Enough. Enough what? Test me. Test you? You are. What's you 2 are plus 2? You SOB. You know what SOB means? Uh, SOB stands for uh, Super Ostrich Bologna. It's a, it's a famous that's dish you. in Australia. Yeah, that's you. I'm a Super Ostrich Bologna? You know, you. it's been a dream of mine. My father has always told me I can never become a super be ostrich baloney. Yeah, you wanted to be? You became. I became a super yeah. ostrich baloney? You, you, you became what you think, alright? Oh, thank you, because, you know, my father, he's always told me that I couldn't become one. And, you know... When have I told you that? When have I told you that? And now I've become one. Now I can go tell him that... <laughs> Dad, Dad, I'm a I'm a super ostrich baloney. Screw you. Okay, sir. I want right, you, I want you to yell it. I got you. You got me. I'm a, why are you calling me your dad? I'm not your dad. I'm calling out to my dad. I'm not your legal dad. I'm not your legal dad. Oh, I'm calling out to my dad, not you. You're not my dad. My dad's a man. And what are you what are you doing? You're trying to steal people's social security numbers and bank accounts and stuff. You can't suspend people's social security numbers like that. You don't have the authority to do so. The only authority you have is to call other people and just mess with them like this. You know, try and steal their money, alter their freaking um, bank statement pages, and you know, just you lock them out. I know all these tricks. How do you come to know this? Because I know everything. God has enlightened me with all the knowledge of the world. Pardon? I said God has enlightened me with all of the knowledge of the world. I know everything. I'm the God. Say it again. I'm the God. You are the God? Have you heard that song? Holding down her band, yanking off my own. Underneath the mistletoe, I'll make your sister mine. Hey. Are you from uh, BTS? The 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 the, the, the Korean the, the Korean boy pop band. Haven't you heard Barney Stinson's Christmas song? Barney's Christmas song. I mean, I've never heard any of that from. I've never heard Barney sing that before. Maybe Kermit the Frog. Hi yo, it's Kermit the Frog here, and today on the Muppet Show we have a very special guest. Person trying to steal your social security number. Yay! And have you heard that? Kenny has a little sister. You touch her every day, and if I ever try to meet her with her puppet, I will play. 
Um, no, that might have been from one of the deleted Barney scenes. I can't, I can't hear you because of all those people in the background. You know, what are they doing? Trying to steal other people's social security numbers and money? Exactly. Oh, well, can you tell them to stop? Because that's not cool. Can you tell them to stop doing that? No, no, why? Because it's not cool to steal money from people. Can you the little sister get faster every day? And if I ever meet her, I don't have a sister. You don't have a sister? No. So, so, so your song means nothing to me. Your song means nothing to me. I have no sisters. I have no brothers. I wouldn't have a mom or a dad. I was adopted, okay? So, all of your insults that you're saying means nothing to me. You understand? I will understand. Yeah. Are you quoting Yoda from the Empire Strikes Back when Luke's like, I won't be afraid. And then Yoda goes, you will yeah. be. <laughs> yeah, my real name. Eminem? My name? No, your, my real name. Your real name is um, Dale Earnhardt. Huh? Dale Earnhardt. Is that your name? What is it? What is it? Mama Khan. Mama Khan? Yes. Mama Khan. That's your name? Yes. Yes. Okay, well, Mama Khan. Uh, mm -hmm. Stop trying to steal people's money. No, a lot. Why? How much money did you have you stolen today? Mm -hmm. How much money have you stolen today? Not much. Not much. There are three customers wearing account as you can refer to that that's required like two hundred, three hundred K today. Two hundred, three hundred dollars? Two hundred thousand dollars. That's that that's quite a bit actually. That's more than a lot of people make yeah. in a year. And um yeah. you feel fine You feel fine stealing that much from people? Pardon? You find you feel fine stealing that from people? What, are you living on a yacht in the middle of the ocean playing pin the tail on the donkey? And like you have an actual donkey? Did you buy all that? With with $200,000, did you buy an actual donkey? I mean, I, I want a donkey. Can you, can you, can you give me some of that money? Because I want a donkey. Oh, you're in Pakistan? Yes, I am. So, like, if I give you my... You know, my phone number and my social security number and my Instagram and Snapchat and stuff and my email addresses, you'll send me to Pakistan and buy me a donkey? Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, you, uh, why didn't you say so? You know, because I've always wanted to go to Pakistan. You can to Karachi. I can learn karate? Karachi, Karachi. Karachi? What's Karachi? Yeah, Google in your phone. My phone? Do I have Google? Yes, I have Google. Who doesn't have Google? Yeah, search Karachi. Okay, let's search. How do you, can you spell it for me, sir? It's K as in Kevin, A as in Aura, R as in Rasko, A as in Albert, C as in China, S as in Hen, I as in Indiana. Okay, Karachi. It's a city in Pakistan. It's the capital of Pakistani province of Sindhi. Of, of Sindh. The largest city in Pakistan and the seventh largest city proper in the world. Ranked as a beta global city, the city of Pakistan's premier industrial and financial center with an estimated GDP of $114 billion at the 2014. You'll send me there? Yeah. Nah, I don't feel like it. I mean, uh, I've always wanted to go to, out, of the, out of the country, but I've always wanted to go somewhere like, uh, I don't know, Italy. Italy. I've always wanted to go to Italy. Have some real pizza. Do you have real pizza in... Uh, you, can, you can go to Mumbai. I can go where? On a one bike? Yes. No, it's Mumbai. Mumbai? Yeah. Well, can you send me to like... Uh, 
I don't know. Uh, Japan? I I've always wanted to go to Japan. No. Okay. Go to the Mumbai. Sorry. Mumbai? What's in Mumbai? Google? Google's in Mumbai? I thought Google was in Canada. Oh, Google Mumbai. Okay. Sir, what's your goal here at the end of this all? Like, what, what, what are you trying to get out of me? Nothing. You just, you just want to have a cool conversation? What did you want to be when you, when you were growing up? Like, what was your goal? What did you say to your parents? Mommy, Daddy, this is what I want to be when I grow up. Nothing? Nothing what? I'm making money, man. No, what did you tell your mommy and daddy when you were growing up, peeing your pants, this is what I want to be when I grow up? What was that thing? And have you ever lost your wallet? You know what? Huh. Chicken butt. <laughs> no, man. I'm funny. You know, I think I'm funny. All my coworkers think I'm funny. They go, yo, Bryce, you're really funny. And I go, thanks, man. And, you know, they just laugh at my jokes yeah, and stuff. Can. Yeah, you can try. I can try? Stand up, yeah. Well, listen, a wise green frog thing once told me, do or do not, there is no try. Do you know what that wise green frog thing was? No, not Barney. It was Yoda. God, don't you know anything? What's burning? No, burning. Like Blue Oyster Cult. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you. You like Blue Oyster Cult? I like Blue Oyster Cult. I think they're pretty good. I haven't listened to them much, though. I just like know a couple of their songs, really. I know, like, three songs from them. I know Burning For You, I know Godzilla, and I know Don't Fear the Reaper. That's the only three songs I know from Blue Oyster Cult. What do you know from Blue Oyster Cult? Blue Oyster Cult. Have you not been listening to what I've been saying? What? Hello? Yeah, um, this is kind of boring. I'm getting bored. Oh, you watch Suicide Squad? With uh, Will Smith? Where he goes, what are we, some kind of Suicide Squad? Yeah, Heathens. But, th but that's not from Blue Oyster Cold. That's from Fall Out Boys, I think. 20, 21, fly, 21 pilots. Are you sure I thought it was from Fall Out Boys? You know, the game where you uh, you go around in a post-apocalyptic world, and like you're in a suit of armor, and you kill a bunch of people, and you're in Vegas at one point? All right, I think I'm done. Um, that was kind of a lot, you see. You know, I, I like messing with people when they call me and go, your social security number is going to be suspended, so please do something about it. I like I like messing with those kind of people. Like, um, I got this phone call that said, oh, um, we're going to give you $1,000. Do you know why? And I said, why? They said, for school. And I said, oh, cool. And they said, you can do whatever you want with it. And I said, so I can spend it on hookers and drugs? And they said, no, sir, whatever you want with it. And I said, hookers and drugs. So anyways, um... I don't know. Whenever something like that happens, I just like to mess with them. And uh, I haven't put out a video in a long time, so I think this will suffice for the moment. So, um, peace, and I'll see you all next time with hopefully something better than this. <laughs>